Jamie, Jamie, I'm throwing lucky beans all the way from South Africa that you find the fastest cat in the world. That'll be super exciting to see a cheetah. I know I haven't seen one for quite some time, but we haven't quite found a cheetah, but I suppose they're a similar color, but we've gone from hopefully Jamie finding the fastest cheetah, uh, fastest animal in the world, to finding the tallest one, and that is of a beautiful big male giraffe. Now, just as we look at it from this angle, you might be able to see some fences, some deck chairs, maybe even a swimming pool, and that's just because we're right outside Voyatella Lodge on Juma Private Game Reserve. So we might even hear the staff waking up and getting ready for their day. Oh my goodness, is that giraffe blind in one eye? Did you all see that? I think we need to get another position. I have a feeling that that giraffe is missing its eye. Did you see that, Senzo? Let's see, he's going to walk out uh, past these peltiforums now, these African wattles, and we're going to have another look. That is something I have not seen before. Right, let's reposition. Let's follow him. Now, we've just got to turn around very quickly. I want to, before I make any conclusions, I just want to triple and quadruple check. Rusty, please also don't break. No. Rusty feels like it's on the verge of breaking too. Can you please just tell me how far I can go, Senzel, so I don't drive us off the damn wall? Thank you. There's so much equipment behind us that sort of turning around and looking, your view is severely obstructed. Sometimes I need the help. Oh, there we go. That's fine. That's better. I'll send all whoever's on the camera with me. That is amazing, but he's a beautiful big male giraffe nonetheless, though. He's lovely and dark in color. And he's walking so gracefully through the open plain over there. I'll just go through this little bumpy patch. I'm so intrigued now. Because if it is true, I've never seen a giraffe that is missing an eye before. And that's a that's an unfortunate disability to have, especially when your eyesight is your best sense. Let's have a look here. Now, I'm kind of wondering if there's also an injury on his neck. I'm not sure. Let's have a look now. Let's examine this together. Hello. Let's, can we go straight into his left eye, though? Look at that. He is too. It looks like his eyes completely been gorged out of his skull. Now, I know that sounds incredibly gross, but that's exactly what has happened. Now, he is an older bull, and, and it does look like he had a mark on his neck, but I think that is just from rubbing. And that's an old injury. See there? I think that maybe he was just rubbing himself on, on a tree or something, or maybe he's cut himself open. Perhaps he was in a serious battle of some sort. He's definitely an older chap. But look at that eye. Completely healed up, so it's not a new injury. You might have found maybe something like this happened when he was quite young. Because when he stopped to look at us, he actually turned and had to turn his head slightly more to the left. And I, it was amazing. Now, like I said, giraffe sense is their best sense is their eyesight. They're obviously taller than some of the trees. They can see right over the tops and into the far distance. So that is a serious disability to have. But I'm sure he's been able to adapt to it and cope for most of his life. You know, it's even hard to say. Maybe it was even, maybe he was just born like that and he doesn't know any different. And I'm just trying to see if I can sort of see any other scarring around the eye. Now, obviously giraffe are often poking their heads into some very thorny vegetation. But I don't know if that's enough to completely remove his eye like, like it seems to have. See, I don't even, there's, there's absolutely nothing. So I wonder, maybe he was just born like this. It's very difficult to say. Have any of you seen this giraffe before? Hashtag Safari Live if you have. Um, we do know that the animals, they, they sort of just take their time. And, but eventually we see the same animals over and over again with giraffe, with elephants. And if they've got any distinctive markings, you're able to tell. And of course, a missing eye is a very, very distinct marking. And in all my years of guiding and all the areas that I've traveled, like I said, I've never seen something like this before. You see that? I wonder if he just didn't, he just never developed an eye, which could completely have happened too. There, there seems to be... A few sort of marks around his eye, though. Like I said, it's old. Look at his face, though. He's been battered up. He's fought with many male giraffes. But I think maybe what could have happened is because he has this disability, he isn't able to see as well. Perhaps he gets sort of bashed around by other male giraffe quite easily. This 
is unbelievable. And there's also a little hornbill that's just sitting on the stick. It's warming itself up in the sun as well. And that's an oxpecker that's on its back. There's two of them just checking its mane. I'm just trying to, of course, figure all of this out. But definitely been in the wars, this guy. Hello, red billed oxpecker. You're listening to the Heidi Dars. They're just flying over the top of the giraffe's head now. Off they go. There's lots of birds around here too. But he's a beautiful fella and he doesn't seem to be too worried about not having an eye at all. He's still feeding. He, I'm sure he goes and has drinks at the dam. Now, let's have another look at his face again, if he will show it to us. John B. from Colorado, you've said, could the injury on his face be related? Maybe. However, I'm not so certain because the, the injury on his face looks slightly newer. Like I said, you can see around his eye, it's completely healed. The skin right inside sort of the socket where the eye would have once uh, would have been is completely healed. There's no fresh gashes or anything like that. Whereas on his face, there seems to be a scab that he's just maybe recently opened. So I don't think so. I think that they're unrelated injuries. Giraffe often get injuries on their legs, on their necks and around their faces. And that's, of course, from challenges are the bull giraffe when they when it comes to fighting but let's reposition let's go get another view of him he's just moved behind those shrubs that he was feeding on 